Growing an email list is going to be extremely beneficial for your store. It allows you to have access to your customers who want to hear from you if you ever switch platforms. It allows you to let people know when you have a new collection or if you have a sale going on. It allows you to create campaigns that are going to encourage purchases that people might not have made if they did not hear from you personally via an email. And while it's super beneficial for your store, Etsy doesn't make it easy. Through Etsy, you are not allowed to just go grab your customer's email and add them to your email list. This is against Etsy's terms of service and privacy laws. You need people to consent to receiving emails from you. And that's not always an easy task. It was slightly easier a few months ago when Etsy allowed integrations with things like Aweber and Everbee email. But unfortunately, since then, they have severed connections with these other platforms and they no longer are allowed to send Etsy related emails that are hooked up to your Etsy account. Lately, I have noticed they've started reconnecting some of these integrations, but they haven't stated yet what that is going to allow you to do with your Etsy emails. So you might as well have a backup because we never know what Etsy is going to do. So today we're going to go over the new best way to substantially grow your email list. And this is using Everbee and Everbee email. So if you have Everbee just in your corner sidebar over here, once you have this open, you're just going to go down to Everbee email and a window like this is going to open. And when this first launched, they were allowed to send your customers emails. And in those emails, you could ask people to subscribe, which I did make a video on. But not long after that, Etsy then cut all integrations with these third parties. So if you couldn't ask your customers to subscribe, how can you get them to opt into your email list? Well, that's where the new Everbee Grow comes in. So the Everbee Grow is pretty much a response to Etsy banning those other emails. And now they've started implementing other ways that you can start building up this email list. And we have some under here, Etsy tools, you're allowed to grab your link right here. You can just hit the copy button right here and you can use it in your shop announcement. You can use it in your message to buyers and you can use it in your message to buyers from digital items. And in these emails or these messages that people get when they buy from you, you can give them this link so that if they want to subscribe to you, they can. But that's not my favorite new tool that was just introduced. It's this one right here and this QR code. And I'm gonna be using this QR code and giving people an incentive to purchase from me. So I'll show you what I mean. What we're first gonna do is under here, we're gonna hit the little download button over here so that we can download our specific QR code. And what happens when people scan that QR code is they're gonna be brought to a page like this. And to edit this, just back on the Etsy dashboard, you're gonna see the little edit button beside the download. And if you open this, you're able to change the name. I'm gonna actually put in my name here. You can give them their incentive, which is 25% off, 30% off. It should probably be a little bit larger than if you have a sale running right now. So just keep that in mind. I would give them a little bit higher than you're already offering regular people. You can change your button colors, and then you can also change up your confirmation page. And on this confirmation page is where you are going to put that coupon code that's going to allow someone to check out with that discount. So you're gonna come into Etsy, you're gonna go under your settings, you're gonna go to marketing, sales, and discount, and we're gonna create a promo code. And I'm offering 25% off. I'm doing starting today, no end date, and I'm gonna call this email subscriber or something a little more incognito. Then I'm gonna copy the link below right here. It gives you it right under, which is your store name with a coupon. And then you're gonna go back to your Everbee dashboard. Now I'm gonna change up the wording of the confirmation email a little bit, just so people know what to expect. The button text is gonna be shop Etsy. And then I'm gonna be putting in the button link. And this button link is my store name with a question mark coupon email subscriber. I'm going to paste that link into the button link. I'm gonna change up the heading and the button text. And I put click the link below to shop 25% off. This Discount will be automatically applied at checkout. So they're not wondering where the coupon code is. They know what's going to happen. And when they open Etsy, they're also gonna see a banner that says the coupon code is gonna be applied. So they're gonna know when they're shopping because they're going to see that banner. And then I'm gonna put shop Etsy. Again, change my colors to match my branding. And there we go. Okay, great, we set up the page, but how do we get people to scan it? Well, we're going to advertise this link in our Etsy photos. With Everbee Grow, we already applied it to our message to buyers. We applied it 
in our shop announcements, but the thing people see most is your Etsy photos. So coming into Canva, I just looked up QR code. So now we've got tons of different options with different templates that are enticing people to scan a QR code, not our QR code yet. We're gonna find one that we like that kind of matches the vibe of our store. And almost right away, my eyes are drawn towards this one. It kind of fits in with the vibe of my store. So I'm gonna click on this and open it, and I'm gonna hit customize this template. Now I'm gonna put my store name up here. I'm gonna type something like scan for 25% off. And at the bottom, I'm just gonna explain to them what happens when they scan that QR code so they're not sketched out. But one thing we need to make sure we do before we save this is change out that QR code. Once you've done that, this is what it should look like. It downloads as a PNG file, and then you can just bring this in and paste it into your design. And one thing we also need to do is just resize this file. Etsy likes files that are at least 2000 pixels. So right in Canva, I'm gonna go to resize and magic switch. I'm gonna go to custom size. For me, I always work in pixels. And now I'm gonna change this to 2000 by 2000. I'm going to hit submit resize this design. And then I don't need these other files that it had given me underneath. So I'm just gonna delete those. So we just have our one QR code slide in here. I'm going to download it as a JPEG. And now we need to upload it to our Etsy photos. This tool is free with Everbee. If you're already paying for Everbee, you have this Everbee email as well, and you have this Everbee Grow. So you're able to implement this in your store. And it honestly can't hurt to do. It's not costing you more if you already pay for them. And having people on your email list is always going to be a better thing than not having one. But another thing you might be thinking is, um, Christina, I have 400 plus listings. How am I going to upload these to all of my listings? That's where a tool like Vela comes in. Vela is a way for you to bulk edit Etsy and Shopify listings, but really the main way I've used it is when I needed to make a big change to my Etsy listing photos, like remove a size guide to all of my listings or change it out or add an information card is where I've come to Vela because you can bulk edit all product attributes, including titles, prices, but my favorite part, you can bulk edit all the photos. And then you can upload your new QR code photo and you can apply it to every single one of your listings within Vela. And if you have not used Vela before, they do have a free one week trial so you can make your listing, apply it to everything, see how Vela is for you. For me, I usually don't pay month to month, but when I do need it, which is here and there, I will pay for the month, get what I need done, and then close it and then reopen my Vela account if I need it again. Thank you guys for listening and let me know if this is something you're gonna be implementing in your store. And if you found this helpful, please drop a like and subscribe. It would mean everything to me. Thanks guys.